Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today I want to give you some on the water demonstrations of how I fish one of my favorite baits, which is the swim jig, guys. The swim jig is such a versatile bait that you can utilize almost anywhere. You know, if I could only choose one bait to fish for an entire day on a new body of water, it probably would be a swim jig because I can take it up to the bank and I can fish around laydowns, through stumps, through grass, around docks, and it's weedless. I mean, it just draws tons of strikes. If I want to take it out deep and put a heavier one on, I can drag it through 14 foot of water on the bottom, through weeds, through deep weed lines, on rock piles. I can fish schooling fish that are out over 100 feet of water. The swim jig is a great bait and it mimics most types of forage, whether it's a bluegill, a perch, shad, you can really mimic the forage really well. So, you know, for me, I love this bait. I've won a ton of money on it. I've won more, uh, you know, local tournaments on this than probably anything. You know, it's this is just the Dirty Jigs standard swim jig size. It's not the finesse. It's not the uh, No Jack series, the standard size. This is a chartreuse and white one that I've added a little bit of gold glitter to, and I'm throwing the three and a half inch Berkeley The Deal in pearl white on the back. Really good for mimicking shad around the country. I've had a ton of success on that bait. Uh, but let's get you out on the water and show you how I fish it and what are some of the things I'm looking for to fish and show you how versatile it is. You know, I'm just gonna be here on my home river so I can show you, you know, a bunch of different things. We're not gonna go fish 20 foot of water, but just know that you can do it if you wanna do it. So let's go put it to use and catch a few fish. All right, the first stop with a swim jig is a shallow gravel bar where we've got some fast current coming over it, spilling off into a little deeper water. You know, the swim jig is a great bait for fishing shallow gravel because it is so weedless and it just bumps along the bottom. You're kind of just letting the uh, current take it and you're hoping you got a fish that's sitting up behind that shallow gravel as it falls a little deeper. Classic, classic river spot, especially for smallmouth. Uh, they love stuff like that, but you know, a swim jig just is a great bait because it, it'll come right through that without any issue. If you wanted to throw a crankbait or throw a, a you know a lipless, you're probably going to run into a little bit of issue because you know that gravel isn't just gravel. You can see on the bank here, it's kind of more of that I don't know baseball size rock, which loves to grab a treble hook. So we're just going to check this real quick because we're going by it, see if we can catch a fish, but. You know, it, the, the swim jig is just so versatile. It, it really can be used the same way you would use a swim bait, but then you still have the option of, you know, throwing it into a, a big laydown or throwing it into a big grass patch and getting your bait to come out relatively unscathed. You know, it's just a, a really, really good bait for that. And in this case, because I have a lot of current here, bringing it down, I'm really not doing much other than just kind of straight retrieving it. I do mix up my retrieve just by using my handle speed by the turn speed. But uh, if the current's really bringing it, you're really just kind of trying to keep it so that the current can bring it through there on its own. You're not imparting a ton of action like I would if it was completely slack water. In slower current, I will do that and give a quick reel turn to kind of create that little bit of a, a fleeing motion uh, but it's not you know super necessary when you do have that fast moving water so now we've got a little bit of a backside to the island which could be a good spot because you do have a current break with a current seam that's coming off and again you know like i was saying the swim jig's just a bait you can put in your hand and fish all day whatever you come to you can just throw at it that's one of the reasons i love it so much and all fish species will eat it. You know, it's just like a swim bait. Everything eats a swim bait. From a rod and reel perspective, what I like to use is a 7.3. It's a medium heavy, but it's a little bit lighter medium heavy. Uh, still a fast action tip because I like to be able to cast it and get it to where I want to go. Here I'm just throwing, it's a Revo, uh, Abby Garcia Revo ALF 8.0 to one fast speed reel. Uh, it's, you know, there's different things you can do. I like a little bit longer than a seven foot rod for casting uh, length and accuracy and being able to fight a fish. 
and I like a faster reel if I'm, you know, hitting targets. Like here, I'm hitting targets, and I'm just trying to bring it past that that quick. And once I get past that target, I can just reel it in. One thing to point out from retrieves, you know, there's a couple of different retrieves. If I'm fishing fast water, a lot of times it's just a straight retrieve. If I'm trying to fish uh, an isolated target like that, a lot of times I'll go with what I call, not what I call, it's what's called the Alabama shake, which is where you just keep popping it. Steady retrieve, but you're, you're popping it with your rod. And what that does is it kind of makes the bait flutter a little bit and just kind of gives the, you know, a little bit of an erratic motion to that bait. It just is always moving and always twitching. Uh, the other retrieve is more of just a straight retrieve with a, you know, an Alabama shake once in a while where I'll just twitch it or give a, give a hard reel turn. Um, you know, just something to give them a little something different, or if there's a fish following it, it'll trigger them into biting. That was a pike. God dang it. Bit me right off, guys. One of the reasons I love throwing a swim jig is the ability to skip it into places. Uh, it's such a good skipping bait, especially with that Berkeley the Deal on the back. You know, I can really skip it to pretty much anywhere I want and get it under every branch and limb that I think potentially has a fish under it. That's one of the, truly one of the best things about that bait is the, the skippability of it. So it's a bait that I do like to cover a ton of water with. If I can go down the bank and uh, just fire at every target, it really, really can, can generate a lot of bites. All right guys, the second form of cover that I really like fishing with a swim jig are isolated tree stumps like this. What I'll do is I'll throw it out and then I always let it go to the bottom first and then I'll pop it up. Those, you know, when you're fishing a bank that's got the tree stump, the tree stump roots are generally going to be uh, a little bit deeper. They get washed out underneath. So I like to let my bait fall because that will, that will give the fish a little bit extra time to try to find it. I got my tails that are kicking. And that just is a really good way to uh, generate a strike. So I'll fire out at the tree base and then just let it try to fall right along that tree base, almost like you were just throwing a normal jig. And then I'll give it a couple of shakes and bring it out of there. So if the fish are sitting around it, they'll come get it. But if they're tucked in tight underneath it, they'll still come out and get it too. And I can fish the swim jig basically as a jig at that point. That's one of the things that makes it so, so nice. Oh, man. What is it? Oh, that is a pikeage. Well, that's how it's supposed to go, though. Just like that, only it's supposed to be a bass. Nice three pound swim jig fish. I 
would take those all day long, guys. Probably, probably three and a quarter. All right, here's like another ideal spot, right? We've got all kinds of wood with a lay down coming out, all kinds of branches. And again, the swim jig is going to come right through all of this. So much better than almost any other bait. I mean, I don't care what you're throwing. You're going to be able to cover water and come through it more efficiently than you would, you know, with anything. If you were pitching, yeah, you could fish it good, but you would probably spend twice as much time fishing this area as I would with a swim jig. Um, you know, it just has to do with the fact that it's a jig and it's like a swim bait, right? So I can do both, cover water and slow down if I want to. Wasn't recording, but we got another one. Thought we were on. That's a nicer fish, two pounder. On the old swim jig. Nice river fish. I love me some smallmouth. Guys, here's a tip for you. Anytime you're throwing a swim jig or any jig that's got a weed guard in it like i'm stuck on that little limb i don't know if you can see it there just make it tight grab your line and give it a pop it normally works Not a big one. Not a little smallmouth on the old swim jig. Not a terrible one. Nice river fish. That's the swim jig, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. That's how I fish a swim jig. It really is one of those baits I love to cover water with. It's the best of both worlds. A jig and a swim bait put together. Everything eats it. We caught some bass, we caught some pike. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. If there's other techniques you want me to talk about, leave it in the comment section. Otherwise, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned. More videos coming out tomorrow.